coast, where Japan does not need an imminent earthquake warning just issued for several regions of the country on edge there, on edge here, because it's, it really didn't start with Japan. Take a look at what experts are increasingly calling the so-called ring of fire that is circling the entire Pacific Ocean. Do you remember Chile's massive earthquake about a year ago? Then we had that big one in New Zealand just last month. Then, of course, Japan. And if this clockwise trend continues, my next guest says, North America looks to be on tap next. Don't laugh. Geologist Jim Birkeland is worried, and we, when he worries, you should worry too. Jim accurately predicted, get this, the 1989 so-called World Series earthquake four days before it shook the San Francisco Bay Area. And Jim says this month is of particular concern. Why, Jim? The month of October, March, and April are the three most devastating uh, earthquakes in terms of damage in the San Francisco Bay Area in history. And we're having on the 19th of this month, not only the full moon, but within an hour, the closest approach of the moon until the year 2016. And the next day is the equinoctial tide. So you're bringing together three of the maximum tide-raising forces. And, and we know about the ocean tides, but there's also an earth tide, and there's a tide in the groundwater. And all of these help to uh, release sudden built-up strain and cause earthquakes. All right, but that and would seem to imply that, 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 that we could be looking at a very imminent event in the United States within the next week or two. Is that right? Yes, my, what I call a seismic window. This top seismic window in years is developing uh, between the 19th and 26th of this month. And this was a uh, 7.0 monster, and it says uh, geologists was, had warned about it. And a week earlier, the, they were talking about the tides, not to worry about the really high tides coming up. Well, I think there's, there's worry uh, here, too. All right, so, um, so let me just understand. You're a genius. I'm not, so I just want to follow your fine brain on not this. Not a genius. What you're saying is that there is a certain order to this, even though it doesn't appear like it. For a lot of folks, it just seems like random events. But you're saying that there is a, a process <laughs> unfolding here. For California, or, or California, Oregon, or whatever, what would that mean? What type of quake or disturbance or disruption would that be? Well, if it was one in the northwest, in the Cascadia Trench, like we had in 1700, that would be a nine-magnitude quake. I'm oh. not predicting that. But I'm saying we've just had a massive fish kill. Uh, maybe a million fish died in Redondo Beach. They had a massive uh, fish sweep in uh, in Mexico. We just had a bunch of whales come in close to San Diego. And what is that, that presage? When you have events like that, what does that generally mean? What's going on in the waters? It changes, changes in the magnetic field that often precede larger earthquakes. Almost animals have the mineral magnetite in their bodies, including people, but it causes homing pigeons to enable them to get home. Just before big quakes, they often can't get home. It has to, there's a delay factor. And uh, so we look for those kinds of things. Just before the World Series quake, there was a very unusual beaching of uh, rare uh, beaked whales in the ocean beach in San Francisco. And then just after that, a, a equally rare pygmy sperm whale washed up at Santa Cruz within about five miles of the epicenter of the World Series quake. And that kind of beaching had never occurred before nor since. So we're looking for strange fish uh, coming into, from deep water to into shallow water, uh, wild animals. Uh, coming into uh, in the cities. Um, th I used to just scoff at these kinds of things because I was a mainstream geologist until I found out that earthquakes were fitting a pattern. The big earthquake in uh, the Indian Ocean followed the mass massive beachings of whales in uh, Taiwan, uh, not Taiwan, but uh, uh, New Zealand and Australia and uh, Tasmania. Uh, and then within a couple of days, they had an 8.3 south of New Zealand, and then came the 9.1 in yeah. the Indian Ocean with a big tsunami on the very day of the full moon. Wow. Uh, the previous big quake and, and tsunami uh, was in Alaska, uh, was the 9.2 magnitude event. Uh, on the day of the full moon, on the 27th All of March. All right, Jim. So, bottom line, we have a lot to watch, and believe me, your track record compels us to watch it, Jim. Thank you very much. I hope you're wrong, buddy. I really hope you're wrong, but your record seems well, to... Well, especially at this time. Right. Uh, the, All right, buddy. The world history, and it's not, not good. All right, sir. Thank you very much. Jim Berkland in San Francisco.
He's a pretty good geologist.